The Great Salt Lake's water is at the lowest it's been since record keeping began in the 1800s. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Cade Garner shows us what that now looks like after a summer of record breaking heat. We know the Great Salt Lake is at a record low, and if you look behind me, off in the distance, you can see many of the cities that make up Davis County. Now, all of the white that you see behind me is exposed lake bed, and it should be covered with water. Antelope Island State Park, its panoramic views of the Great Salt Lake, drawn visitors from all over. We were just struck by how arid it really is, uh, and we, were, we just kind of kept wondering when we were going to find it. Sean Sampson and Dessa Harvey are visiting from Minnesota. Like if I wanted to touch the water, it yep. would be a trek to get out there. Yes, yeah. And that's the whole point of like coming out here is to see yeah. this. It's still beautiful. Oh though. yeah, it's still stunning. It's but, still uh, absolutely stunning, but just kind of, kind of sad. Trek is a good word. The water's edge is now about a mile from the shoreline. Typically we would have sand and sandy beaches up to the water's edge. Now we've got exposed lake bed and it's different because it's not a sandy substrate that will drain the water through and hold you up. It's more of a muddy, kind of a muddy mess. Jeremy Shaw with the park says visitors may want to forego trekking to the water's edge because they could get stuck. When I started working out here, I remember water up to the road most of the way out to Syracuse. Shaw started in 2011. This is the road he's talking about. He says this view is some of the best proof of the drought's magnitude. So I think if we can tip that scale to get to the point where, yeah, we've got some more water in the lake, which means more snow in the mountains, which means better winters, which means more water in the lake. So that's really the goal is to try and try and tip that from a decreasing negative spiral into an increasing positive. Next week, lawmakers and scientists from across the state will gather at the Great Salt Lake Summit. Jeremy Shaw will be there as part of a panel to answer any questions people may have about the Great Salt Lake and the drought. Reporting from Antelope Island State Park, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.